I live alone in a smaller house. I've lived here for five years now, and I would describe the neighborhood as average. By far the scariest thing to happen took place not too long after I first moved in. I'd been living here for maybe six months. One night, I was woken up out of nowhere to a loud banging at my front door. I remember being very confused at first, but once I came to my senses and realized what was going on, I looked at a clock. It was nearly two in the morning. I got up out of bed and the loud pounding was still going on. I had absolutely no idea as to what this could possibly be. After leaving my bedroom and walking over to the front door, the banging suddenly stopped. Still, I went the rest of the way to the front door and I looked out of the window. When I did, I noticed that there was nobody there. I opened up the door and looked around. I saw nothing. Nobody in the street, nobody in my driveway or anything. It was very weird because whoever had just been here seemed like they really wanted me to open the door. I stayed up for a little while after that and nothing else happened, so soon I was able to go back to bed. I thought that maybe it was just a mistake or something, but I was still wondering about it all day the next day. Well, the very next night, something else happened. I was woken up in the middle of the night once again. This time, there was no knocking though. I remember hearing the sound of a car horn honking. It was coming from outside somewhere, but I couldn't tell exactly where. It sounded close by though. After it continued for a while, I got out of bed and once again headed to the front of my house. I was getting closer to the sound, and when I got there, I looked out of a window and I saw a car sitting in my driveway. I did not recognize it, but the horn was honking over and over. Obviously, with it being nighttime, I could not tell who was behind the wheel of it. I went to the front door and opened it up. When I did, the car suddenly stopped its honking and drove away really fast. I did not get a look at the license plate or anything. After the car drove away, I was once again left very confused. I figured this to be the same person who had been banging on my door the previous night, but why? I really didn't know. The car did not return that night, and once more, I went back to bed. The day after that, I was wondering if I would be woken up in the night again. I thought about going to the police, but ultimately, I didn't do it that day. So that night, I was not woken up. I thought things were back to normal. However, as I was leaving for work, I noticed a note taped to my front door. I picked it up and looked at it. It was handwritten and it said, I will be back next week. This really creeped me out. Somebody was messing with me for some reason. After that, I did go to the police. I showed them the note and reported everything. They said they would look into it, but said that it might just be a prank. I was really nervous the next week, but nothing happened. I'm glad that nothing happened, but also I'm confused. Since then though, nothing strange has occurred. I'm not sure if it was just some kind of a sick joke or what, but I'm glad that nothing more ever came of it. I live by myself in a house a little ways outside of the city. This happened a couple of years ago. One day, I got home from work a little bit later at night. It was some time past 10 o'clock and I was really tired. After getting inside of the house, I pretty much started getting ready for bed right away. I remember that I was in the bathroom across from the hallway from my bedroom when I heard a door downstairs closing. Instantly, I was creeped out when I heard it. I froze and listened to hear anything else, but there was just silence. After that, I left the bathroom and went back downstairs to see what it was. When I got downstairs though, I saw nothing. I noticed that I had left a window partly open and figured that the wind had blown the door shut. This is something that happens from time to time. I felt much better and then I went over and shut the window and then headed back upstairs. Then I finished getting ready for bed and went into my bedroom. When all the lights were out and I closed my eyes to go to sleep, I heard another noise though. I thought it sounded like somebody walking around downstairs. At first, I told myself that I was being paranoid because of what I had heard earlier. I mean, it was hard to hear something downstairs clearly. It seemed like the noise really could have been anything because it was so far away and I could just barely hear it. Still, 
It was something, and it continued. I continued listening, and I realized that the sounds were actually getting louder. And then I realized that it sounded like somebody was coming up the stairs. That's when I realized that there was definitely somebody in my house. I started to panic, and I immediately got up out of bed and ran to my bedroom door. I closed it and then locked it. Then I went back over to the opposite side of my room and got my cell phone. I had no idea how, but somebody was inside of my house. As I scrambled to dial 911, I heard the footsteps approaching down the hallway. At that point, I froze. I was unable to speak because I didn't want this person inside the house to hear me. The 911 operator answered the phone, but I didn't say anything. I then heard the person inside of my house reach right outside my door, and then they tried the handle. The door didn't open because of it being locked, and after that the person turned and walked back in the opposite direction. After the footsteps went away, I'm not sure where they went. I was finally able to speak and told the 911 operator what was going on. I stayed in my room with the door locked, and I also stayed on the line with 911. They were really quick to respond, and within probably three or four minutes, police were at my house. During the time waiting, I didn't really notice hearing any other noises though, and when the police got there and did a thorough search of my house and yard, nobody was found. The door was unlocked though, which I'm 99% sure was not when I went up to bed, so I never found out who broke into my house. I also don't know how or when they got in. I'm guessing it was when I was at work, probably earlier in the night, maybe shortly before I arrived home. That's what makes the most sense in my opinion. My only guess as to how they got in was possibly the window that I had left open a little. It's ironic that seeing the open window made me feel better thinking the wind had blown the door shut, when possibly the intruder entered my house through that very window. Since then though, there have been no problems like it. I'm hoping that it stays that way. This happened a few years ago. During this time, I lived alone. I had a one bedroom apartment on the third floor of my building. Overall, the apartment complex was pretty nice and I liked it a lot. However, I only ended up living there for one year, which was the term of my lease, and then I moved to a different place. This event took place towards the end of my lease. It was nighttime and I was home alone. My living room was at the back end of the apartment, with the kitchen at the front. As it was getting late at night, I was planning on going to bed. It was maybe around 11 o'clock or so. So I went over to my living room window. It was a large sliding glass door that opened up to a small balcony that I had. I went to close the blinds like I did every night before bed. When I was doing this, I got a view out to the parking lot, which also happened to be where my car was parked. And when I looked out there, I noticed that there appeared to be a person standing right next to my car. This caught my attention, so I kept looking. I noticed that it was a man, and he appeared to be messing around with my car. I saw him try to open my door, but the car was locked. I could see him then looking in the windows and stuff. I opened up the sliding door to the balcony, and I stepped out onto it. Then I yelled to the man that that was my car. When I did, the man looked up and saw me. I was hoping and also expecting for him to stop what he was doing and run away. After staring right at me for a few moments, I yelled again asking what he was doing. The guy didn't answer me. In fact, he didn't say anything. He just kept staring at me for a few more seconds. Then he began walking away from my car, but towards my building. I watched the guy walk all the way to where the front doors of the apartment are. Then he went out of my sight. The doors were not in my view, so I didn't know if he had entered the building or not, but it sure seemed like he was going to. This seemed odd to me, because if somebody was trying to break into a car, I wouldn't suspect them to live there. I would have figured it to be somebody just passing by or something. I was just glad that he left my car though without breaking in or anything. But I was a little bit suspicious with him being in the building. I didn't recognize the guy, but I also didn't know that many people that lived in the building. I went back inside, closed the blinds, and then started getting ready for bed. But probably about two minutes later, I heard somebody trying to open the door to my apartment. I walked over to the living room and then looked at the door. It was locked. 
After things were quiet for a few moments, I walked over and looked through the peephole. I saw the same guy who had been outside at my car. I didn't open the door, but I kept watching him. He stood there by my door for a short time, then he knocked on it. I didn't answer it, of course. Then the man turned and walked away. I was left with many questions. Who was this guy? Why was he at my car? And why was he now at my door? At that point, I just went to bed though. And after that, I only saw the guy one other time. I arrived home from work one afternoon. I parked my car in the parking lot and then went inside to the building. When I did, I got inside the elevator to take me up to my floor. Right after I got inside though, I saw the same man come into view. He was walking down the hallway and headed towards the elevator. The guy was kind of far away, but after he saw me, he started speeding up and almost running to try to catch the elevator before it closed, but it ended up closing before he could reach it. I went up to my floor and quickly went inside. The man didn't come to my door again though or anything. I only lived there for about two more months after that, and I never saw that guy again.